Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video I'm going to talk with you about the new Orter Laser Master 2 Pro machine. It's a new machine, it's not the Laser Master 2 that I've reviewed uh, on this channel multiple times and uh, well it's, it's kind of the same but it's way better. So more on that in this video. On this video it will be about the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro, a machine that will be available as of the 25th of June, the day that this video uh, comes to, uh, to YouTube. And uh, well, uh, there are a lot of differences between the old Orter Laser Master 2 and the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro machine, which is this one. And uh, well, let's go through them one by one. And uh, I want to start with, uh, well, the, the way this machine is way more precise. Uh, this machine has a much smaller projection area. And uh, you know, if you have seen the video over there, and if you haven't seen it, well, maybe you should watch that first. Um, that video explains everything there is to know about the curve of a laser. And uh, in short, this means that a laser is not as good as printing in the Y direction as it is in the X direction or vice versa, depending on how your laser is mounted. And uh, this has to do everything with how a laser diode looks like uh, on the inside of the machine. And uh, well, therefore, uh, all the older uh, machines that work with diode lasers have a slight problem when they're working in the X or the Y direction and they can't cut as deep as they do in the other direction. Now the new Orter Laser Master Pro uh, is capable of projecting a much smaller dot. So still the laser is 5.5 watt optical power but the produced dot is four times smaller than it was on the older laser. And uh, this is so small that now a lot more energy uh, becomes available to engrave or cut in your materials. And uh, well, four times smaller dot, which is 0.08 millimeters by 0.15 millimeters, compared to the older machines where it was 0.23 millimeters by something, well, they claim it was 0.23 by 0.23, but obviously if you have seen that video, you know this isn't true because it was a rectangular shape. So the older machines were way worse than that. And uh, well, this machine really is capable of projecting this very, very condensed spot. And therefore, it's capable of cutting much deeper and much, yeah, with much more uh, detail. The, the precision is just so much better with this machine than with the other machine. The motherboard of this laser is also capable of controlling the machine much more precise and also with way more speed. So uh, the machine is way faster. And this is the second big important thing that I want to talk to you about. Uh, this machine is capable of running 10,000 millimeters per minute uh, instead of the older machines that were capable of running 4,000 millimeters per minute. So the machine is way faster and this is something that you uh, can use because this laser, because it's more condensed and it has more power on the material, more energy that will be transferred. Uh, it's really great that this machine has more speed and therefore you are capable of, uh, yeah, of making grayscale engravings. So uh, you can do a lot with grayscales. And uh, if you know uh, that uh, in previous videos I talked about 7 watt or 15 watt or 20 watt lasers to be used for different tasks. Uh, the 7 watt laser mainly for engraving, the 20 watt laser mainly for cutting and the 15 watt laser mainly for a, a combination of both but both not very good. Um, then you know that uh, it's really uh, the optimum laser 
would be a laser that is more capable of cutting and more capable of engraving. And this machine comes in one flavor. It's 5.5 watt real optical power. Uh, but now this power is yeah, uh, transferred to only a quarter of the size on the material that you are engraving or cutting. If you want to do things with a laser engraver, you want it to be reliable. Now, the older machines, they were built with, uh, with yeah, fairly good electronics. Uh, they were built with stepper motors and things that were working on 12 volt and therefore uh, lots of current was used on the cables that were going from the motherboard to the laser and to the motors. Uh, now, this machine is working on 24 volts instead of 12 volts. Therefore, the current can be lower and the maximum current that this machine uh, uh, takes is only 2 amps. And uh, still it's capable of using all that power because, well, the voltage is just higher. Now, also, because of this, they were able to use thinner but better cables. Cables with more strains and the more strains there are in a uh, twisted cable, uh, the more that cable is capable of bending. And so they talk about uh, 5 million times bending. If you have a cable that is capable of doing this lots of times, um, then that cable is better than one that breaks after, for example, 10,000 times. And uh, also a good thing is that they tested this laser for continuously uh, usage. So this laser is really capable and they guarantee it for uh, work 24 hours a day. Now that's really something which I think is pretty incredible for a machine uh, of this price. The last thing I want to mention with this machine are the safety features. Of course it has all the safety features of the older machine. Uh, the older machine, uh, when you bumped into the machine, uh, it would stop the uh, laser engraving or laser cutting. And uh, if something went wrong with the connection to the computer, also it would stop uh, burning and therefore yeah, cut the, 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 the laser and make sure it won't uh, heat up the material or get the material to fire. Now, this laser has of course the safety features of the old machine, but it improved. Uh, with this laser, uh, it's also capable of detecting flames. So if you are burning something and you are going too slow or the power is too high or things like that and your material is catching fire, then the fire is emitting infrared light. And there is an infrared fire detector uh, which oversees the build area. And uh, that fire detector can see it when there is a fire coming up. And if, if that happens, uh, then the machine will cut down the power to the laser, uh, will stop working and it will make sure that no more fire is being created by the laser. Of course, you still have to be with the laser, uh, so you can make sure that that small fire, which is already there, which was detected and was the reason that the machine stopped, uh, that that fire will be, well, will be stopped by you. But um, there won't be any more fire and therefore this is a safety feature which I think is great. Now another safety feature and I, well let me first explain what happened a lot with any laser I have used. Sometimes my settings were wrong, sometimes I used too much power, sometimes uh, the material that I was trying to engrave uh, was in the wrong spot or uh, Things like that happen. And when this happened, I had to grab my mouse, had to go into the software and find the emergency stop or just the stop button uh, and stop the engraving. Uh, but you have to go through the software and find that correct spot in the software uh, to stop the laser from working. Not anymore with this laser. The Ortomaster Laser 2 Pro now has a very huge uh, stop button uh, which really stops the machine immediately. 
so if you if there is something wrong and you want to to make sure that the machine is stopped then you just hit that emergency stop and uh, well the machine will cut down uh, it will stop being used and uh, it will make sure that you can uh, just twist the knob to start it up again uh, and send new printing commands to the machine. So this really is a great feature of this machine uh, which really improves the way of working with the laser. And uh, only this would for me be the reason to buy this machine instead of another machine. Another thing you have to know about this laser is that it's got a fixed focus point and there is a small yeah, piece of uh, aluminum that comes with it and uh, this is the correct distance from the laser head to the material and you will now be able to lift the laser head up and down, uh, place this underneath the laser, not the lens, just the body of the laser and uh, then when you touch the material uh, this will be the perfect height of the laser where it will be perfectly in focus so you don't have to think about it anymore uh, this is the way how you now set for the the height adjustment and therefore the focus of the laser and it really works very very well also the laser is now uh, enclosed uh, from three sides with uh, an orange acrylic which stopped the light for, yeah, for, for a huge amount. Therefore, uh, if for example someone walks in the room without wearing the special glasses, then uh, the risks are less, uh, yeah, less prominent there. I'm going to make uh, a lot of cuttings and engravings and I'm going to make more videos about this on this channel uh, but let me first show you uh, a photograph that I engraved with this machine uh, it's a photo of myself of course and uh, well this photo has been transferred just to normal plywood and well it works perfectly the machine does a great job of engraving even though there are not three different powers uh, you can choose anymore there is only one power 5.5 watt optical power uh, which has a high strength of cutting but is also capable of making very nice photographic engra yeah, engravings please hit like and subscribe uh, then you will be notified every time I make new videos now to be completely transparent uh, I didn't get paid to make this uh, review of this product. Um, I received this laser for free however and this is because the company that uh, gave me this laser asked me to do a review about it and then link to their company's uh, yeah, website so that if you want to buy a laser like this uh, you can do that via them. Now I will earn some money if you use the link in the description down below uh, to buy this laser. But that said, this laser is available on many many websites and of course you are completely free to choose your own website where you want to buy this laser. It's just that in this way uh, yeah, it makes it possible for me to earn some money uh, by making this reviews so that I can pay for all the, the cameras and the goods all around me. Uh, there will be way more material about this laser on my channel. Um, I will be doing cutting, I will be doing photographs, I will be doing uh, etching on glass and on metal because this laser is more capable than every previous laser and I've shown already that with the previous lasers I was able to cut or, uh, to, to engrave on glass and engrave on metal uh, with some tricks of course you can find them up there if you want to and uh, well that's it for this video more news will be coming very soon uh, also for 3d printing uh, hit that where is there it is hit that subscribe button thanks and I'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>